Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Storm Adventure Time and my name is Storm. Today I decided to take you on a very interesting adventure because after living here for a while I kept discovering some interesting places in London which made me wonder how much of the world you can see without leaving it. So the first location we are going to is Chinatown. It might be the obvious choice, that's why I decided to start with it. And it's a lovely area in very central of London, even though historically it wasn't originally here. It started in a lime house, which is in East London, but unfortunately it was bombarded during the World War II and now it is in central London and it is obviously famous about a lot of great places to eat. So let's just walk around a little bit and then we'll move to the next location. The second location is um, Egypt and that is an obelisk which you can see just behind me. I'll add some clips so you can see it from a bit closer but to be honest on the embankment it was way way too loud from the traffic to film because it is quite on a busy street so I'm across Thames right now. It's a little bit quieter here, even though I'm right in front of the skate park, so I hope you can hear me, and it's windy as well. So that is an obelisk, which originally was in Alexandria in Egypt, and it was brought to the UK. It has two sphinxes next to it, and also the benches are decorated with um, some Egyptian style, which is absolutely beautiful. And it, but they are not originally from Egypt, they were made in the UK. Um, if you're looking for more uh, things Egypt-wise, you can visit uh, Crystal Palace Park where there are also some more sphinxes, but they were also made in the UK and Victorian times. And you can actually see the video about Crystal Palace Park, uh, which I did a couple years ago, so I will leave it linked on the screen and description box below. And now it seems like the sun is setting down, so I will take you to one more location today, which is nearby here. And then I will continue this tomorrow because the other two locations I would like to take you are uh, more towards the north, northwest London, so it will take me a little bit of more time to get here. So let's continue exploring. Um, different locations where you can find in London but they actually kind of belong to a different part of the world so let's go if I mention a Berlin wall what country and city of fires pops into your mind now, obviously Germany and Berlin because that's where the wall is but did you know that you can find actually three pieces of the wall in London. So first one which I am showing you is uh, the Imperial War Museum in South London. So that is I believe the biggest one and then there's a second piece in central London in Mayfair in Grosvenor Square next to uh, Ronald Reagan statue where the old US Embassy used to be and the last piece is um, in Richmond next to the, the German school London so it's crazy I found out quite recently myself that you can actually find part of the Berlin Wall in London how crazy is that so that's it for today I am heading to two more locations tomorrow because it's getting quite dark already it's this time of the year and keep watching so you can see two more interesting places related 
to other countries around the world. So let's get going. Hello again everyone. So I am walking right now through Regions Park to the last location, which is the fifth one. Um, so the fourth location was an absolute gorgeous Hindu temple and I can only show you just very very few clips of it while I just add on the screen now um, and it's because it's extremely extremely rex restricted um, of taking photos and videos so there's absolutely no photos or videos allowed inside and just a little bit outside but I think they were doing some refurbishment works outside so I couldn't walk around as well but it's an absolutely stunning place the all the works are, it's just a masterpiece inside so I would definitely recommend to stopping by and seeing it I'll put the actual name of it on the screen and description box below and it's free entry so why not to go ahead if you in London um, because it's just stunning. And now let's go to the last location. guys I can't walk through the park without stopping to watch some cute squirrels wandering around and picking some food so, God, that's so so adorable so a little bit of squirrels and let's get going before I got distracted again So the last thing to show you is this the jelling stone and this is the exact replica of the ancient monument uh, which you can actually find the original in Jutland, Denmark. So this is the fifth location of the what you can see from other countries in London. Even though this is not an original, but come on, this is quite impressive and interesting and unique. And yeah, this looks really, really cool. What do you think, guys? Alright, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me quite a few years until I found out about all of those locations and I think the first one obviously is Chinatown because that's pretty much easy and very quickly guessable location and then the very last one I found out was the Jelling Stone which I found really interesting and unique and I had no idea that it existed um, Do you have such places in your city? I would love to hear because I like finding interesting and unique places and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you next sunday see you